G'day guys, Shane here. Today we're talking about fireworks and how to take photographs of fireworks with your phone. So what we're going to talk about in this video is iPhones and how we're going to take photos with the iPhones of fireworks. We'll also talk about Android settings, as in manual settings that you've got in pro mode with your Android phones. First you need to work out about these fireworks is a few safety things we want to talk about because these things are bloody loud and if you're close, like we are here, if we look over here, I don't know if you can see these lights over here behind us, that's where the mortars are right there, and that's where they're going to launch from, so it's going to be pretty freaking loud right here. So if you are someone who's a little bit hard of hearing, chances are your hearing's already screwed, but throw some earplugs in if you think you're going to be too close to these things, because they are pretty freaking loud. Secondly, is usually, depending on where you are, and everywhere is different when you do this, there might be some water in front of you, there might be fenced off areas, but the chances are there's going to be a lot of bloody people, so get there early, set up your composition, set up your spot, set up your camp, and get ready for these fires. Now with both of these sorts of phones, whether the Android or the iPhone, there's a few things that are pretty much the same bloody thing here. We've got two options, we can shoot vertically, as in portrait mode, not portrait mode as in portrait photo mode, you know what I mean, but vertical photos or you can shoot horizontal photos, it really depends on the location that you've got there. For me here, I want to shoot the mortars of these things firing and the fireworks in the sky, so I want that vertical sort of shot. But if you've got a cityscape and there's fireworks going on all over the place, you probably want to shoot at landscape. The setup that you're going to have to have, and this is a must, because we're taking like 10 to 30 second long photos here. So you're going to need a tripod and you're going to need a phone holder. I'll put the link to what I'm using here down in the description. Here's the iPhone, it's on the uh, in the phone holder on the tripod. Over here I've got a Huawei P40 Pro, and we're going to use manual mode on that. It's also got light painting mode, which we may, if we've got time, I'll turn it over to that, because fireworks happen really bloody quickly. You don't get a lot of time to muck around in between all these things to get it happening. So the settings that we're going to use on this is in the manual mode, in the pro mode, and this is going to be the same for your Samsungs or your OnePluses, all those phones that have a manual mode. I want you to look the, go into the uh, pro mode, bring the ISO down to like 100, so it's really, really low because these things are really, really bright, obviously. You want to shoot it for 10 seconds, manual focus, put it to infinity and bring it back just that little bit because these things will be up in the sky and you're going to, well, it's long, it's far enough away that infinity focus is almost going to work perfectly. So that's it. You might want to put a delay shutter on there, as in the shutter delay, but, but that's really it. Over here though, on the iPhone, we're going to do, well, we're going to try a few different things here. I'm going to try my favorite app for light painting, and you guys know it, it's even longer, and we're going to set that up for 10 seconds only in light trails mode, set it on manual autofocus back over there where the mortars are, and that should do us pretty bloody well. And I'm also going to use the regular camera app in night mode, we're going to touch the focus on where the mortars are, or touch the focus out there where something in the distance is, just like what we do with stars, and then drop the exposure right down so it's really, really dark. and then. We'll wait for the mortars to go off, hit the shutter button, and Bob's your uncle. The thing that you need to remember with the Android phones, all the manual setting modes, is that everywhere you do this is going to be a little bit different. I've got a little bit of ambient lighting out there. You might be in a city and the ambient lighting is a lot more than what I've got here. So you need to adjust things accordingly. You might need to raise the ISO, you might need to lower the ISO, you might need to lower that shutter speed. You're going to have to adjust those two things because they're the two part of the exposure triangle that you can play with, the shutter speed and the ISO. You can't do anything about the aperture on most phones, but uh, you need to be prepared to adjust those two things on the go. When we talk about the composition, with, well with most phones now you've got more than one lens. Uh, with the iPhone we're going to use the wide lens, not the ultra wide lens and not the telephoto lens. We're going to use the wide one mainly because well, even though fireworks go really high, we don't want the ultra-wide looking at a massive field of view because you're going to end up with a massive field of view and little fireworks. So we want to go with just a wide lens. Uh, and the composition, if we come in closer here, you can see here the ground. Uh, I've got it really close to the bottom of the frame. That bright light in the center here is actually the mortars out there that's going to fire the, the, the fireworks. The fireworks, in my mind, are going to go up here where that little bug's flying right now. Couldn't have timed that any better. And the fireworks should pop up there. And we should be able to get some pretty good photos. So that's the, that's the composition that we want to play with. And now we just wait and get the fireworks. It's a bit 
too bright. We'll bring that down. The ISO was too high on that. We'll bring it down. That's pretty cool. I reckon we've got some pretty good photos in. Let's have a look. Well, damn, I didn't expect that. That was a massive bloody explosion. It, uh, it was clearly the other half of the fireworks. I thought they finished a little bit early and there was a few things that I wanted to try, which I didn't get to try, but that was, that was bloody intense. I wanted to try just some handheld stuff, just handheld, uh, night mode handheld, so no more than 10 seconds to see what it was going to do. And I, and I think um, even with the handheld stuff, if you do it a little bit shorter, what you're going to find is you're going to get the photos of the pop of the, the fireworks, if you like, but you may not get the stream of the firework and the pop. So you're still gonna get some pretty bloody good photos, but maybe not as good as what you are hoping to get. A couple of things to keep in mind, if you're in a big area, and you're looking over a series of, of, uh, of fireworks over a larger area, not just what I'm looking at here tonight, um, you're probably gonna get a better photo. You're probably gonna get some more ambient light from around the town. Where I am here, we get these once a year. It's very dark where it is, so it's not quite what you're going to see there. But uh, you, you're going to see uh, some ambient light, some fireworks, and you're probably gonna get some better photos than what I've got here. There was an app that I used uh, a little bit of the way through there. I used the even longer app as well. I didn't I didn't know if we saw that with the video or not. Um, we used the even longer app with 10 seconds. I probably overexposed that one a little bit, probably should have underexposed it a little bit, um, just like I did with the iPhone. I used another app there. I can't tell you much about that yet. It's about to be launched, and from the testing that I've done, it's probably the best photography app I've used to date. It does everything I want it to do. Um, so look, here's some photos, and uh, I'll hope you guys have a good new year. Hope this year's better than last year, and I'll see you next week. Catch you later.